Hi, my name is Tina Kinley, Ward 4, and I noticed here that you want to fund the 911. Um, I just have one quick question to all the young people here. Um, if they have an emergency and they call 911, um, who are they going to call? Ghostbusters, if we don't have the police to help us. Thank you. That, and for that, and what I've seen this weekend, I think a lot of police departments need to be defunded and demilitarized. That's all. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is LaShonda Bishop, and I'm from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I represent the 805. I'm a part of the uh, advisory committee for them, and I just had felt the need to come say something about that. And uh, just like I told the people, if I was at McDonald's flipping burgers and I wasn't doing that job right, I would get fired. And that's what I expect to see. But, you know, that's one of the things that, you know, some of us people have a problem with. We see officers in their uniforms committing crimes against our people every day. every day. And we got our hands up. We're saying we can't breathe. We please don't shoot us. Don't harm us. I've been a victim just walking. Hello, my name is Alexandra Penner. I'm living Ward 1. Um, and I would like to speak on an amendment which will reduce cr crime in this city. The new bus transfer station. Poverty is criminalized in this country, and poverty is a vicious cycle in which public transportation is a key element in reducing. Uh, if people can't get to work, they can't get a job, and they enter into a vicious cycle of poverty, and homelessness, which in turn leads to them being criminalized. And if you want to reduce crime in this city, programs like this new bus transfer station good, that uh, Mr. Holman is uh, proposing the amendment for, those are the kinds of things that are going to make meaningful change in this city. Investment in public transportation, investment in mental health, those sorts of, of things, not the police. Thank you. Came down here. Uh, my name is T.J. Thompson, and I'm from Norman, Oklahoma, from Chicago, Illinois, actually. But this is home, right? Uh, I took my mask off because I want you to see my face, and I want you to understand something. I'm from a place in Chicago, on the South Side. I've been brutally abused by police. Have you ever had a gun in the back of your head? And he told you, nigga, if you move, I'll blow your head off. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just confused why we're still trying to add additional money to the police, like they said, especially in this climate. I have called 911 while I was being beaten and held captive in my closet, and the police refused to come in and help me because nobody would answer the door. My best friend was on the phone with the police, and I'm on the phone with her crying with my children locked in there and I can't move and they would not help me. I've been stopped by the police whenever I was 11 years old walking with three black guys. 11 years old, I'm from Norman. I was at Skateland. You know why they stopped me? To make sure I was okay. Because I was a white girl with black people. Oh my gosh. So why are we... Hi. My name is Fred Pope. I'm from uh, Ward 5, and I would just like to suggest that there is absolutely no justifiable reason to defund in any way the wonderful police department that we have here in Thank you. Um, I'd just like to point out there, there, to the best of my under, objective understanding, there is so 
so much confusion associated here, most of it is wildly emotional. First of all, no one can justify the manner in which Mr. George Floyd was killed. That is terrible beyond words. One thing, however, there's a well-known black uh, commentator, Candace Owens, who, who has looked up information regarding both Mr. Owens, the causes of Mr. Owens' death, the coroner, the uh, medical examiner's report, together with his police record. His police record is horrible. One lady here re referred. One lady here referred to a problem where the police did not respond to a situation where she was being attacked. Obviously, that's a problem. Among other things, that Mrs. Oh, I'm not so certain if it's Miss or Mrs., but anyway, Candace Owens referred to was a situation where uh, Mr. Floyd broke into an apartment and... It, Mr. Floyd broke into an apartment in together with, I think, four or five other men, and he... This is a violent conversation. Can we... Let him talk. And the the point the the point is uh, Mrs. Candace's objection was to the base. I have not been running a three minute time limit for anything. Her main objection was that a person with a criminal record such as his should not should not be treated as a martyr of some sort. And because there is there is no good justify Thank you, sir. I will record your comment as a... There's no good reason to defund our good police department. Thank you, sir. Are there any other...